Hi guys, so today we'll be doing my review on the, the personal lubricant that is apparently friendly to fertility. I will be reviewing two brands. Uh, first is Preseed, which is, oops, I'll turn it this way. Preseed, and the second one is called uh, Zestica. So these are the only two brands available here in where I am in Canada. Uh, so these are the only ones I will be reviewing and it's also the only two I've used. The first one I started using was Zestica and the reason I started using it was because, you know, as you, you know by watching my videos, I'm trying to conceive my second child and um, I've read in a lot of blogs and I've read, you know, in a lot of uh, websites and uh, a lot of doctors have told a lot of women I haven't personally asked my doctor, but I've read a lot of um, websites saying that the normal KY lubricant is bad for sperm. It might actually kill them. So we start, we stop using KY. But I also wanted to, you know, help with the lubrication down there. And I started, you know, browsing the net and I found these two, which were actually available here where I am. And the, the first one, like I said, is Zestica, and I bought it in the form of spray. This is a little tube of spray, and the, the product comes out through here. Uh, I, for, I, I don't know where I put the box. I'm sorry, I would have shown you the box it comes in, but it's just a little box telling you it's a fertility lubricant. I've been using this uh, for almost a year now, and uh, I know there's been a lot of concern um, throughout the forums and a lot of people using these products or wanting to use these products asking whether or not it's you know really sperm friendly and actually it is it is I can testify to it because I got pregnant using this one so if it killed sperm I would not have gotten pregnant so uh, the first month I used this guy I got pregnant unfortunately uh, it ended with a miscarriage but still I was really happy with it and the consistency is much more watery than the KY if ever you've used KY which is really like a gel sort of substance this is really watery and it really does mimic um, your normal bodily fluids and uh, you know it's it's really nice to use so you spray it on you, you spray it on your parts you spray it on your partner's parts and then you do you get busy this one I've I haven't used that much. I've started using it recently. Uh, this is also sold in spray, but I use the tube with the nine applicators, which means I'll, I'll show you. So it comes in a little tube like this. It comes in a little tube like this, and the applicators, it's to insert directly into your vagina. So the little tubes, wait, let me see, I'm gonna ask. The little tubes look like this, and then just take one out. Like this and it's sort of like sort of like an injection kind of thing and it's you know it's it has a uh, little markers here so uh, in the uh, in the uh, instructions it says you open this up I'm just gonna show it just to show you how it is you put it on top of this you screw it down and then it says to go up up to two up to two grams of gel. So you just pump the liquid up, and the uh, and uh, the sort of like thing will move up up to the grade you wanted, either two or three. And then you unscrew it, you insert it in yourself, and then you push it delicately, just like an injection. So you injection right, inject it right into your vagina. And apparently, this is more um, this is more uh, re reliable, or it works better than the spray. But I've used the spray, and it worked fine for me. So. I haven't used this directly in my vagina. I thought I would, but I kind of chickened out. So I, I just dab it on, on my hand and put it on myself and put it on my partner and we just use it like a normal regular gel. Uh, I found this tube really, really, really big to be inserted in me. So uh, I, 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 I'm, not using it. I'm not using the tubes, but I imagine it should be exactly the same as putting in a, um, a, a tampon. So um, this, the consistency of this resembles a lot that of the KY. Uh, so it's much more uh, like gel consistency and it's much more thicker than the Zestica one. 
this is a tube one I don't know if the spray version is much more watery I haven't bought it but I imagine it would be if it's on a spray so this is it for my review I've put a link down below uh, to the website of both products so you can go read more about them and also read the reviews they both got great reviews so uh, you know many women who've had success using them and uh, you know a lot of more information about them uh, so I hope you liked this video uh, if you did don't forget to click uh, the thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to click uh, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, on the next uh, trying to conceive vlog, I will be talking about acupuncture. I am currently doing some acupuncture to help with my fertility treatments. Uh, it's something that uh, my doctor recommended, and it says that actually it enhances uh, your chances of getting pregnant with the fertility treatments. So I've been going to acupuncture for the last month now. So I'll tell you more about it, how it how it's like, how you know each each appointment is like, what it's like to have needles stuck into you, and where exactly she places them on the body. So if you're interested, don't forget to tune in and next time for that video. So hope you guys are good. So see you next time. Goodbye.